Hello traders, FS Perkletti here. Today is Friday, September 1st, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So, on the Euro dollar, I still think this is an uptrend, and I'm still a big believer that this uptrend is not over. I think it's eventually going to go up and take out these highs, probably gonna make a nice one, two, three, four, five, just like this. So let's keep that in mind. Let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this first set of trend right here is a 1. To me, especially looking at the dollar index, this looks like an A, B, C, D, E of wave 2. And then I still think it's going to go up and eventually make a 3, a 4, and a wave 5. Just like what I was showing on the much longer time frames, the monthly. So let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely had a very impulsive move up, as you can see, and it did break structure, but it, so far it definitely has rejected structure. That is often a good sign that the trend is still down, and that at this point it probably will end up going down further, probably even eventually taking out these lows. So let's head down to the 4-hour time frame. So on the 4-hour time frame, we do have a break of structure here also, but all that really does is prove that this sets of trend is over. And uh, to me, it looks like 1, 2, 3 waves up. I think we may have the end of an ABC Kretzen right here. I think this big impulsive move up was just a little bit of a bull trap. And I think that the news today, the non-farm payroll news, is most likely going to cause this to bounce off a of FIB level and probably continue the downtrend. Everybody's going to be looking for buys with this break of struts that we had and the market's going to smack everybody in the face and just take it to the downside i believe so let's head down to the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we have almost a perfect downtrend right here one two three four and five we do have a little bit of a break of struts which is good because that probably means that we are making a move to the upside but i think this move to the upside is probably going to be a crutch into this move down probably even like a one and a two i think the most likely thing to happen at today's news is it's going to bounce off a of fib level make an impulsive move down and most likely continue the downtrend for a big wave three so don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.